Hi guys, in this video I am going to discuss about list view in seesaw.net windows form. So let's go to our toolbox. Here this is the list view. So about the list view, display a collection of items, one of five different views. So let's drag this one in the form. And uh, here this is the list view and this is the name of list view properties here. This is the properties here. You can get event. And uh, here this is properties, items, location, margin. If you want them from here, you can increase the size. And uh, here after multi selected. So this is uh, true. Now here after I am going to uh, discuss about to one example of uh, list view by coding. So here uh, first uh, let's go to form and here I need one button control. So button control. So add here in uh, button control I am going to double click. So this is the button click event. It's uh, open. Now here after uh, let's uh, write list view. So here list view. So this is the list view that I just uh, uh, created. Now here after if you press view. Now here after view. So about the view here you get uh, specify whole list item display on a list view. So that specifies. So we have different option details, large icon, list, small icon, type. So what do you like or you can select so detail means so that give uh, all the information of rows columns uh, it's all so first I'm going to also uh, you about two details now here after list view so I'm going to set the location of list view by using new here find so find about so oh, that denote x and y coordinate. So x axis, y axis I'm giving or to add to them. So this is here x and y coordinate. Now here after here after let's write list view and here dot here giving name. So giving the name of list view. Now here after uh, list view dot, dot size. So giving size at your size equal to new and or uh, size. So here width and height. So 245 and 200. So see at your width and height. And uh, here Setting the color of list view. So first, I'm going to uh, set the background color. So back color setting with yellow. So we need to write color dot to yellow. And uh, here, list view dot for color equal to color dot ring. So to color I selected. Now here after that so I execute. So this is a list view. If I click on button, so see I have one list view created. The Size is uh, 245 200 color a uh, yellow and uh, uh, x and y coordinate 12 to f and here uh, this is uh, all details. So if I click on button click event so that here that's the uh, display. Now here after I'm going to add some items in the list view. So for this uh, let's write at your uh, list view dot uh, so first uh, I need to add columns dot add method so adding at your i 
now hereafter I am uh, going to add items in list view dot items dot here add so id I am going to give want to want to now let's execute so if I click on button, so here uh, ID, column ID added and here so, uh, this is the items 1 to 2, 1 to so here the for color 1 to 2 so this is in uh, red color and here ID so this is a background color yellow now if you want then you can add to others columns also so you need to write at your list view dot here columns dot add so going to add one more column so giving add your name and let's execute So going to click on button so here one more column let's add it so this is the way we can add to our columns and rows in the list view here after i'm going to show you the next way to add the columns and items in the list view so let's go to form and uh, this time double click so this is the form load event open so here first we need to drag one new list view so search at your list view now here after let's go to so here I'm going to show you the list view name so this is the list view name list view 2 now here after write to in the inside the form load event list so this is the list view 2 dot here so first thing is view view equal to view dot here yeah. so here yeah, I am going to uh, select this time list now here after I am going to add the columns so here just write the list view dot columns dot add so add here going to add emp name now here after list view dot columns dot add here I'm going to add emp id here after list view dot columns dot add so this time going to add dpt number now here after i'm going to add the items in the list view so this time going to use so a string array tag variable of a double r and your name a string and giving the size so for at here now next is so a double r of 0 index going to add so first thing emp name so going to add the name sam and here after a double r 1 index going to add name sorry emp id 1 0 0 1 and a double r To index going to add your dpt number 10. Now here after we need to add the list view. So add a list view items list view items l1 equal to new list view item 
and you are going to pass the interval R. Now, here after we need to add the list view items. So, list view view dot here items dot add. So, this time I am going to pass add here 8 over R. So what do we need to uh, pass add here L1. Now let's execute. So see at here Sam, it's so sign uh, when the form load. So at here we need to do one thing at here I'm going to change because columns uh, and uh, rows it's not to sign very detailed way. So let's execute again. So see at here. Uh, when the form load, so this is uh, showing AMP or name. So this is the column EMP ID, your DPT number, and your SAM 1010. That's a sign. So this is the column here, EMP ID, DPT number. Or DPT number, or DPT number, and your EMP ID and EMP name, and this is the items, or this is the rows inside list view. So this is the second way to add the items or add rows in the list view. So if you want, then you can add two more. So for this, so we need to just copy this here. And let's paste all this point and here just change the name. So this time going to uh, change the name Nikki and here uh, MP ID here and uh, DP number and one more thing L1 equal to new or list view items here passing a over r and uh, here after list view to dot items dot here add method and here adding l1 again now let's execute So this time this is added Nikki IMP ID 1002 and DP number 50. So this was taken way to add the item. So this time here I'm using array. So array concept here 0, 1, 2. So this is Nikki added at or 0 index here 1 and here 2. Here after I am going to show you the third way to add the items columns in the list view. So this is the direct method I am going to show you. So here I am going to take one new list view. So this is the list view and here I will click on arrow. So here you get three different options edit items, edit column, edit group. So click on edit items. So here from here you can add the items. So from here you can change the color. So this colors are available. Whatever you like you can check. And uh, here or oh, this is the font size. So if you want to increase the font size. So from here you can increase. And this is the for color. Whatever you like from here you can select and uh, text so here i'm going to uh, give this text emp so uh, add here it's added emp add here now next is uh, or there are no any group info so that uh, here it's uh, selected none and uh,
so this is the thing i want to you know or uh, edit items or add the items now next is going to add one more so emp this time here i'm going to give uh, id and one more giving add here id and here add it. now click on ok so see add here or oh, items added now here after i'm going to add the columns so here this is things so index 0 and oh, this is the name so if you want then you can change the name at here so this is the optional and oh, here text i'm going to change so here this time i'm going to oh, write at here c1 and from here you can change the or text and add. so left is ok and here after giving a uh, text of column header column situ and adding one more so this time for this one going to give cc now let's uh, click ok so see at here it's not displaying column so here we need to uh, change at your details so see at here c1 c2 it's all added at here so this is the column 1, column 2, column 3 and let's so see view description so this is selected uh, details so that here are columns and items it's so sorry if I am going to uh, select large icon so add here only uh, items it's so displaying if I select details so column as well as items a small icon so it's only uh, and here this is uh, items it's uh, displaying so this is uh, in list and here this is the title so based to uh, all things to select details so it's a uh, display all now hereafter if you want to add it to group so from here you can add it so name and header so actually i'm going to give group header and this is the name so click ok so see at your default it's a group added so this is a direct method to add the uh, column group and items in the list view and this is the three things and here image so it's uh, not showing at here so if you click on doc parent container so it's so uh, it will take full part of the form so let's undock here this is so this is the things about to list view control so three method i discussed about to list view control so i hope that this video is helpful for you so if you have any thought related to this video leave your comment definitely i will reply so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next video thank you